Dr. Nicole Clark with this week's look at your mental health. Here at Spectrum News, our reporting can take us to a lot of far-reaching corners of our communities, but this week we take it even further than usual. I had the opportunity to speak with astronauts about how they combat loneliness and care for their mental health hundreds of miles from Earth's surface. Spectrum News 1, this is Mission Control Houston. Spectre News 1, the International Space Station has you loud and clear. How us? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. It's great to join you. I want to begin with just getting to know you a bit better. What led you to this profession? My name is Michael Barrett. I'm actually a medical doctor uh, and a spaceflight physiology nerd. And I'm Tracy Dyson, by background, a PhD chemist uh, researcher, and I've been uh, an astronaut since 98, so it's kind of uh, more of what I know. As an astronaut who has worked in space for decades, can you talk about any mental health related challenges you have faced? Being away from family, I mean, uh, the military is no stranger to deployments, and what we do is similar to that. We rely on a lot of people on the ground uh, to not only support us, but to support our families. Stay focused on the things that are immediate and most important. You are relying on each other there in space, and we're so glad that you have each other. I have been hearing a great deal about VR headsets. What have you heard about VR headsets for? astronauts to help with their mental health, if anything. We actually have a, a VR headset uh, kit up here that's available for people to use when they exercise. And I think the previous crew actually made good use of that. I, I don't think it's a it's a magic answer for some. It's a it's a very comfortable media and, and a good entertainment. Uh, you know, having said that, once we break orbit and head off to uh, Mars, uh, we won't have the Earth next to us. We'll have delays in communications. It'll be a very different psychological surround, if you will. And we do need to understand the tools in our toolbox. Right now, we have all sorts of other things that, that absolutely keep us connected to home and family and I think uh, to whatever psychological support we need. Humor me. Everyone wants to see you move about the cabin. It's not every day that we get to have this inside look at your activity there. And I'd love to just see you. Oh. This is really the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I, I will tell you that this never, this never gets old. No. Um, a nice reminder to all of us that it is important to stay connected to our support system no matter the distance. I'm Dr. Nicole Clark. Join me next week for another look at your mental health. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your community, click the subscribe button here. You can also download the Spectrum News app or watch us on TV for the latest information, balanced coverage, weather updates every 10 minutes, and more. We'll see you then.